Hello everybody, this is about to be a tutorial on how to connect your Mac to your Synology. This way, you'll be able to use your Synology folders directly from Finder without having to go into DSM. All right, first a little bit of backstory. There are a few different ways that you can connect your Mac to your Synology, but the two most popular ones are called SMB and AFP. SMB is a Windows protocol and AFP originated as a Mac protocol. However, Synology's implementation of AFP is not that good and even Apple itself is depreciating AFP. Because of this, I would recommend using SMB as Mac supports it fully. So to set this up, we're first gonna go into DSM. It's the web interface for your Synology. So once you logged in, you're gonna first go to control panel. From here, we're first going to enable a static IP address on our network by going into network, network interface, and then editing our primary LAN connection. For me, this is LAN one. Right now, it is just grabbing a IP address as directed from my router. Instead, we're gonna have it grab a specific IP address. This way, every single time we connect to the Synology, it's gonna be over the same static IP address. Rather than receiving a random IP address every single time this NAS connects to the router. So we're gonna go into manual. Since it's already grabbed a IP address from my router, it already knows the IP address subnet and gateway. So because of that, all we have to do is change these last three digits to whatever we want them to. So I'm gonna do this as one, two, three. As you can see, I kept the first three components of the IP address the same. Unless you really know what you're doing and you have a greater subnet, you're going to want to make sure that the first three parts of your IP address match that of your router. So for the last three digits of your IP address, simply enter a number anywhere between two and 255. One thing to note, if you do have a lot of devices connected to your router and one of them happens to take this address, for example, 192.168.1.123, then the Synology would be completely unable to connect to my router. So one thing you should do is make sure that you've set your router to not give away any of these IP addresses. If you don't know how to do that and don't want to mess with your router, we can also just leave this as an automatic configuration and then do some settings later on that I'll show you. But for now, I'm gonna be using a static IP address because it's a lot easier to interface with. So now that I've typed in the IP address, I simply hit okay and we're gonna lose connection for a second. This is totally normal because now it is changing from the old IP address into the new IP address. All right, as we can see at the top of my screen here, I'm now on 192.168.1.123, which means the IP address has successfully been changed. All right, so now we just gotta make sure we've got a share folder. If you've not done this already, it's incredibly easy. Hit create, create, and then just give it a name. These settings right here do not matter for this. I'm not gonna be encrypting it. And since this is just tutorial, I'm not gonna be adding in checksum, though I would recommend you have this for any of your share folders if you're using BTRFS. The final important thing to do is make sure to have read write access from whatever users you would like to connect to this folder. All right, so now that we've created the folder, we wanna make sure Mac can actually access it. To do this, we're gonna to have to go into file services. So, as I said earlier, there's two different forms. There's AFP and SMB. For this, I would highly recommend using SMB as AFP is becoming depreciated. So we're just going and we're gonna enable SMB service. There are a few advanced settings you can choose here. I would recommend doing maximum protocol SMB3, minimum protocol SMB2. If this is unstable with your Mac, you can lower these, but they tend to be faster. All right, so if we look down here, it actually tells us how we can connect to this network. If you chose not to define a static IP address earlier, you can use this. You can simply type into finder smb colon slash slash tutorial. Tutorial being the name of my NAS. 
However, I think it's easier and makes more sense to do it by connecting directly to the IP address. This way, if you have two different network interfaces on your Synology, you always know which one you're connecting to. So to do this, I'm gonna hit apply. And now we're just gonna go into Finder. All right, so now that we're in Finder, all we have to do is type Command K. And this brings up the window that allows us to connect to servers. So to connect to it, I'm gonna be using a static IP address. So I'm gonna type SMB colon slash slash 192.168.1.123, which is the static IP address I set up earlier. And just hit enter to connect. It's gonna come up with a warning the very first time, making sure you know what you're connecting yourself to. And now we're actually going to connect as a registered user. This is whatever username and password you use and you gave yourself permission to access on the share folder from your Synology. And you can even keep the password in your keychain so you never have to enter it again in again. So now it's going to pop up with a window allowing us to select which share folder we would like to connect to. We're going to connect to the fourth tutorial that I made earlier. And now I've actually got the fourth tutorial open. It's on my other desktop, but right here you can see it's got a little icon showing a web server. So I can just do whatever I want to it. Say I want to transfer some files in here. So I'm just gonna transfer them by drag and drop, just like any other folder. And it's gonna transfer them over and boom, now they're on my Synology. I can even delete them. And they'll automatically go into the recycling folder. All right, so now I want to disconnect safely. It's really easy. Simply go to the icon on your desktop, right click on it and click eject. And it now is safe to eject. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, stay tuned in. I'm gonna be having a video shortly about the difference between SMB and AFP from a performance standpoint. All right, thanks for watching, bye.